Welcome back to The Current. We are outside for the score happening tonight, week five. It feels like it's only been a few weeks, not a month, not over a month. I know, and we're just close to the playoffs, which is my favorite part anyways, so. And tonight you have a very special guest griller. We do, Deanne Bloomberg from Illinois Farm Bureau uh, is gonna be here joining us tonight. She's gonna bring over some pork burgers and some other fun things to cook on the grill. And we're always excited for whatever people cook on the grill because that means we get to eat at the end. Deanne was disappointed because we've had so many Hawkeyes on. She's a huge cyclone. Is she? So Ooh. she kind of needs to Brian like even. Brian's going to be so happy. Yeah, she has to even <laughs> the playing field a little bit. We'll have some line I love later in the year, but we'll go some cyclones. She's a she lives in Orion and she's a former DeWitt Saber, so she's a, a riot, ton of fun. We're going to have a blast with her tonight at 1035. One of our photographers, Scott Weiss, and I were talking about how probably every single farmer within a 100 mile radius of the Quad Cities probably knows Deanne or oh, has worked with her before. Absolutely, they do, which is going to be good for us, which means hopefully they're watching before they go to harvest tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no kidding. Speaking of big things happening tonight, we got Moline and Rocky. We've been talking about it on the current here all week long, thanks to our drone shots of the football fields. Oh, cool. You guys excited? Yes, absolutely. It's one of the longest running rivalries in the state of Illinois and it's one of those you throw the records out the window when these two teams meet up and that's that's a good thing this year because one's 0 and 4 <laughs> one's 3 and 1 so they they like to throw the but it doesn't matter what the records are and Moline's playing some really good football so we'll see how they do they're back at home and they've dominated this series of late that doesn't sit well for people from Rock Island so we'll see what happens tonight um, if Corey's alma mater can get a victory over the Rocks once again. It would be so much better if you were a Rocky graduate and then we could have we, we, we used to do Fight. that with Alvin. Yeah. We used to do that with Alvin, but they don't have a varsity team this year. Thanks for bringing that up. So <laughs> thanks for keeping Alton everything Alton. positive here on The Current. Well, Moline has got some making ground to make up after last week's loss in Quincy. They do, yeah. yeah they're one and three on the season. That The hardest part of their schedule is behind them, Coach Morrissey says, so hopefully, if they get a win tonight, kind of turn things around, see how it goes the rest of the year. All right. Well, we got to talk about some NFL as well. As always, I have some help that I need in my picks. These guys split it last week. It was like two and one, and I ended up losing. So this week, what? Titans or the Browns? It's in Cleveland. I don't know who to pick. Well, don't ask her. She's taking the Titans. The Titans, I know. She's a Titan. You're all Tighten here. up, baby. <laughs> I'll go with the home team. I'll say the Browns, Deshaun okay. Watson, and I think the Browns are going to win. I will do that as well. That's just to make, just simply toward. just to make her mad. Like it's simply just to. The Titans just broke an eight-game losing streak, so they've got some. Momentum. So they're on a hot streak. That's what I'm saying. That means they, just they, won. they means recently they won. lost eight straight <laughs> games. How about this? If Rocky wins tonight, I'll pick the Titans, and if Moline wins, I'll go with the Browns. It's a great idea. There you go. There that we go. Sounds good. Thought of that on the spot. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. You guys gotta go. You got some games to shoot, and we've got more news to get to here on the current. We'll be right back.